welcome back and how the fuck are you Ben? I'm so glad that you could be here with me today. All right, okay. <laughs> Let's get into it. So today we got another Tom McDonald song. This dude is just, he just never stops. Like honestly, I can't even name an artist that is putting out as much high quality content as Tom. Like who has dropped this many videos this year alone? It's just nonstop. It's just non-stop. The work ethic is crazy. But anyway, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop Tom McDonald. Dummies. Let's get into it. I love the earth, but I don't really want to save it. Everything is sexist, homophobic, or it's racist. When life gives us lemons, we're supposed to want to change it. But my generation rather take some pills than escape it. Hold up. Let's get this started. Okay. It's crazy that this far along, people are still saying, let the song play. Like, what? What? If you want to hear the song, go listen to the song, dummy. Don't watch a reaction and then complain about the reactor reacting. But yeah, anyway, the vibe reminds me of people so stupid. The upbeatness of it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like even like the sounds are similar, you know? They might not be, but I don't know. I just get that same vibe. But this video is fire as well. I like the look. I like the aesthetic. Like always, Nova, Tom, y'all kill it every single time. Like, this is crazy. Y'all build entire sets. Just y'all. Anyway, let's get back into it. I'm going to restart it from the beginning. I love the earth, but I don't really want to save it. Everything is sexist, homophobic, or it's racist. When life gives us lemons, we're supposed to want to change it. But my generation rather take some pills than escape it. Say that I'm transphobic if you want to, but one day I'll be a father. And I really hope my son don't grow up to be my daughter. I ain't trying to hurt your feelings. Skin should be a little thicker. That's the problem. Being honest, got them triggered. The Hold up, bro. Hold up. Oh, my God. This is going to be... I don't even know, bro. <laughs> I don't even know. You're brave, bro. You are brave. You just be jumping out there. You jump out there. <laughs> Holy shit. And such a with a smile and dancing. But honestly, that's not even a bad opinion. Like, I don't think there's a problem with that opinion. That doesn't say anything about, I don't like trans people just because you don't want your son to grow up to be your daughter. That just means you want your son to feel like he is what he is. You don't want him to have to feel like he's out of place, like he's not himself. Yeah, understandable. Why would you wish? any type of confusion or anything on your child you know Dude, i don't see anything wrong with the line it's just i know that in today's day and age people will not think about the actual line if you talk on the topic and don't say exactly what everyone else is already saying if you don't regurgitate the same points that everyone's already making you're bound to be made the enemy you're not even allowed to have an opinion but obviously tom doesn't care about that <laughs> Let's keep going. Honest got them triggered. The kids are getting weaker because they're sheltered by society. Pumpkin spice out of van for seasonal anxiety. Woke Pumpkin spice out of van for seasonal anxiety. <laughs> Holy shit. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised that if like by 2030, there is a pumpkin spice out of van or pumpkin spice Xanax. It's a funny line now. It could easily happen and I would not be surprised. And then pumpkin spice out of van for seasonal anxiety. Like I think anxiety is it's a thing that humans have for a reason. Anxiety becomes a problem when it makes it so you can't function when it shows up at the wrong times. You know what I'm saying? Being anxious about situations, new situations and stuff like that. That's normal. I feel like people think just being anxious is enough to take anxiety medication and anxiety is there for a reason. It's not always good, but sometimes you need to take that extra thought. I understand if it's beating you down every day and you can't live your life, but take heed to what your body's telling you sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't just numb everything that your body's doing. That's what people do. And then it's like putting a bandaid on the problem. These pills are not cures. But yeah, I feel like this topic is not talked about enough. It is from the opposite from I like taking these drugs and drinking lean and all this. That's crazy that there's not more people talking about it from the opposite side. Like I've heard rappers go on interviews and talk about, oh, I had to stop drinking lean because it was messing up my insides. It was messing up my stomach and making me fat and like dying from it. You know what I'm saying? It was destroying their bodies and they'll do an interview about it. But they will not put that same energy into rapping about it the way that they rapped about how great it was when they were doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, rappers make shit cool. They don't even try to make that cool. Because they think, oh no, people ain't trying to hear that. Da -da -da -da. But like, use your influence. Put some thought into it and you could actually probably help some kids. People ain't willing to do it because people ain't willing to mess up their own bag. People don't realize how, how important what Tom is doing is. You could say he makes controversial music, but he didn't make these topics controversial. He's speaking on topics that need to be spoken about. The fact that more people aren't speaking about it is crazy. That's what they do. They, they convince you that talking about the right things corny and wrong. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he's just being controversial because it's going to make him money. Okay, why do so many other rappers not do controversial music because it won't make them money? This dude, he, he took the time to actually build an audience of people who are willing to support the truth and not what is being sold by everybody else. He needs more respect than he gets. But anyway, let's keep going. Problem being honest, got him triggered. The kids are getting weaker because they're sheltered by society. Pumpkin spice out of van for seasonal anxiety. Wokeness has become a way to bully non violently and cancel everyone without improving on the life we live. That's what I just said. That's crazy. That's literally what I just said. Without the white, there's no black. Without the straight, there's no gay. Without the men, there's no women. Without the night, there's no day. Without the idiots, we couldn't laugh at them when they fall. So maybe we need them after all. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what that's called. What is that called when you're just making sounds, but it's also melodic, melodic sounds? Is that onomatopoeia? I don't know. Dog, I get so confused with all these big ass words. I don't know what it is, but he's just creative musically. That's all I'm getting at. He's just creative musically. I didn't really need to stop it there. I just wanted to give him the props. I like that his style is his style. I like that he has things that he does musically. That if people bid him, it would be like, oh, Tommy Donald does that. You know what I'm saying? That's just dope. That's when you know it's the difference between like a rapper and an artist. I don't, like it's hard to even explain. There's rappers who copy what's cool. And then there's rappers that do their own thing and make things cool. You know what I'm saying? He's the latter. But yeah, let's keep going. Dum, 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 diddy, dum, I love the earth, but I don't really want to save it. Everyone's obsessed with making stupid people famous. If a white boy raps, then it's called appropriation. But Beyonce has a hair blonde and people say she slayed it. I don't know. The, the appropriation argument was just never one that I wanted to be a part of, you know? If anything, this is what I'll say. When it comes to cultural appropriation i think that we need to shut the fuck up about it cultures are going to blend that's gonna happen you know what i'm saying you can't just call the blending of cultures cultural appropriation because we're all here for the first time and we're all taking different things in we're in america which is a melting pot of different cultures so obviously at some point the children were going to start taking in things from other cultures and applying it to themselves even though they're not directly from that culture because that is just how humans work humans do that take things that they think are cool we are all influenced by stuff you know what i'm saying and being in america where so many cultures and ethnicities are right next door to each other we all live in the same buildings we all live in the same neighborhoods all that we're obviously gonna pull from each other that's just a dumb argument it's just another argument to separate us all like cool you have your culture keep your culture alive you know what i'm saying absolutely do that but i i, I don't see the issue with cultures borrowing from each other it's gonna happen here we're all too close in proximity and growing up together and it's just something that's gonna happen it's, it's just a dumb argument i think but yeah anyway let's keep going everybody's outraged everybody's mad our solutions to the issues don't make no sense the stairs are the problem we build wheelchair ramps we don't cancel feet or persecute the people with legs the feminists who started the movement would be ashamed of so many things they thought so you can vote i'll show your butthole on only fans i'm not a bad person because you don't like what i say call me homophobic just because i think straight i love people even though we disagree i wish we could get wi-fi signals from a tree then everyone would plant them and we'd probably save the planet for free too bad we only need them to breathe that's such a fire clever thing to say that is such a clever thing to say people would be more inclined to save the planet and plant trees if wi-fi came from them but the fact that we need them to breathe and survive eh that's not enough of a reason <laughs> that's crazy it's so true damn bro damn that's deep <laughs> that is real as fuck bro that's crazy too bad we only need them to breathe I love the earth, but I don't really want to save it. Classifying people by their sex and race degrades them, but we still say straight white males are the worst of our population. Guess the labels are okay if they're Caucasian. My kids are living in their rooms, I swear we barely ever see them. Go outside sometime, there's fresh air you could be breathing. Put your phones down, play sports, do something illegal. Go and meet your families, they're probably nice people. These days, you're a Nazi if you don't hate the police. They say that white folks think all Asian people are Chinese. I'm sorry, what kind of white people you mean? English, Scottish, German, Swedish, or Greek. And black lives.
<laughs> Yo, again, that's so clever. That is so clever. He points out the hypocrisy in so many different things. And it's crazy because it's things that are being used to push legislation and shit. It's crazy, man. Good shit, Tom. Good shit. And Black Lives Matter was problematic. It excludes anyone without the pigment. It's automatic. I understand all the reasons it happened, but including all humans is the actual answer. True. <laughs> oh, no. True. Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Hey, yo. <laughs> the robot. You don't have to touch the ball. Okay. Two albums? Bro, that's so much work. Two albums while you've been sitting here, not even sitting here, working, dropping all these videos and shit. You've been working on two albums and they're about to drop. Holy shit. Yo, your work ethic is impeccable, bro. Can't lie. I cannot lie. That was a good song, bro. The upbeat vibe. Ever since I've heard People So Stupid, I've bumped it. It's still on my playlist. It's still something I listen to regularly because I just love the energy of it. And this has got that similar type of energy. So add it to the playlist. You feel me? So yeah, I feel like I'm rambling. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you be notified whenever I drop. Appreciate y'all. Shout out to the Patreon gang. Shout out to the Illuminati. Shout out to you. Shout out to your family. Shout out to your friends. And most of all, make sure you stay flawed. Lord, 